So a nurse here in the UK has been struck off the NMC register. What for? For being racist. For being racist, yes, for being racist. But on a more serious note, the other things that she did aside the racial stuff, and in this video, I want to share the stuff that she did, see what lessons we can learn from her story, and then as nurses or as health professionals, prevent ourselves from getting into a similar situation that this lady found herself in. And so that's what this video is about. Um, it's the first episode of a series I'm launching on my channel called Strag Off, where we discuss things that some healthcare professionals have done, mainly in the UK, that put them in trouble. Or some stuff that health professionals in the UK did that nearly put them in trouble so that we can use that to advise ourselves to protect our pin that's all there is to this video so this is not to make mockery of anybody it's just to make us aware of some things that are not supposed to be done as a healthcare professional specifically for nurses in this case okay I personally learned some stuff and I hope you also pick a few things from the story so if you're interested stay tuned There's a PDF file that contains all the charges and everything that happened to this lady and it's a seven to three page document. Seven to three pages. There's no way I could have finished reading the entire document. So I just came through and then I realized that there are about six or seven major charges that were brought up against her and those are the things I'm going to discuss today interruption guys but i need to say this so this video is proudly sponsored by lemonade finance so if you don't know what lemonade finance is lemonade finance is a money transfer app that allows you to send money from the uk and canada to many 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 other countries ivory coast ghana nigeria so many countries guys so many countries you can download it on an iphone or android you can use the link in the description to just quickly download you can send the money directly from your bank account to the person's mobile money account or bank account back in ghana or or wherever it says you're sending it to and they have the best rate at present check if you don't believe me just go and compare they have the best transfer rate at present and guys there is no hidden charges or no hidden fees and the most exciting thing is if you send 100 pound and above using my referral code you get 10 percent of the money you send back into your account if you send 100 pound using the code nanel the referral code nanel you get 10 pound back into your account if you send 200 pound you get 20 pound back into your account that's if you use my referral code and guys this is capped at 50 pounds you're getting the best transfer rate possible no transfer charges no hidden fees and you get 10% back I mean where else can you get this download lemonade finance send money use my referral code and let me know what you think in the description okay thank you so much now let's get back to the video so coincidentally this nurse is a nurse in Belfast I'm in Belfast and she's a nurse in Belfast as well so maybe I even know her maybe I've even worked with her before I don't know <laughs> and she's been a nurse since 1983 that's a long time let's talk about the racial stuff that she did okay i'll leave a link to the article on rcm page so that you can use a link to get to the rcm page read it and if possible even download the document that talks about all the charges that were brought against it as an nmc hearing this nurse worked with another nurse colleague right who was a muslim and it was during ramadan and this nurse took a break to go and pray you know muslims pray during ramadan and this nurse said something to the effect of you lazy bastard you've left me to go and pray blah 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 Blah. other people heard it and that was used against their other hearing you're calling somebody a lazy bastard because they're going to pray so it's like you don't have any regard for their person's religion the second thing she did was she referred to a black patient as kunta kinte <laughs> not only that she also said that if you were back in that jungle you'd probably be on a tree and will be throwing bananas at you can you imagine so for those of you who don't know who kunta kinte is you know back in the day slave masters used to go for people from africa as slaves to work on plantations in america and in europe here there's a slave story where the name of the slave was called kunta kinte right so anytime somebody uses kunta kinte to a black person they're trying to call you a slave sort of so it's a derogatory name for an african person who has recently immigrated to a new place so this person was trying to be very very mean to this patient by calling the patient Kunta Kinte and saying that if you're in that jungle probably that jungle being Africa you probably be on a tree and they'll be throwing bananas at you you know how some white people think that in Africa we live on trees like the way monkeys live and then they are surprised to know that we actually have houses in Africa it's sad isn't it and I feel so sorry for our Muslim brothers and sisters especially Muslims that are black Muslims or Muslims that are immigrants it's one 
thing to be black already you are prone to you know discriminations and all that and there's another thing to be a black muslim <laughs> you know there are some ignorant people that associate islam with you know i don't want to mention the name that that word on my channel that t word there's a lady who said that she sat on the train and there was literally no space it was just a space beside her that was vacant and then this person got on the train and then she shifted so that the man could sit down the man was like no i would rather stand because you might be carrying a b you know i don't even want to say the word as well and this is because she was in her hijab you know dressed beautifully as a muslim and you know like i said ignorant people associate islam with some negative things so if you are a muslim you're already facing discrimination if you're a black muslim double you're going to face that discrimination twice as much and then anytime there are Eastern European patients, she passes derogatory remarks about them as well. So another thing was they said there was a time that she was working and there was a lady that needed catheter to be inserted. They said when she went to the room, she opened the lady's legs wide open. Guys, allow me to be a bit dramatic. She opened the lady's legs wide open and then she won, wrongfully inserted a catheter and she also did not provide any privacy. She just took off the linen from the person, like did not even cover the person properly and brought it up to the chest level. Somebody was like, you're being rough. And she she said something to the effect of that is how i am or that is who i am or something like that and you know the nmc code is big on privacy and dignity guys if you're an aspiring uk nurse you should know that at all times you have to maintain the privacy and the dignity of the people in your care she shouldn't have just exposed the person like that at least like bring the cover to somewhere here and then insert the cutter and she also wrongfully inserted the cutter there. so that was another issue that was brought against her there were several witnesses that provided oral evidence at the hearing there were several healthcare assistants and senior care assistants there there were band seven nurses as well that were all there to provide evidence of the things that were brought up against her hmm. and then there was another issue where they said a patient complained of having leg pain and this patient had been prescribed painkillers administer the painkillers she just disregarded the patient to say it's probably just like some cramps so she undermines the patient's pain and the patient was in severe pain and this is somebody that had had a leg fracture and then this person needed the pain medication she has been prescribed and that was also brought up against her another issue that was brought against her was they said that she was not co-signing control drugs with another Next. I think there was a time they said she was supposed to administer Librum and that's a benzodiazepine and she did not co-sign with another nurse. The nurse rather had to chase it. Hmm. And then there was another story that was brought up against her that there was a time that somebody kept using the buzzer and then she just went to mute the buzzer without necessarily attending to the patient. And then there was another story where she was supposed to assist a resident to the toilet. She just said, I'm bloody busy. I don't have time to take you to the toilet. And all these things were, you know, recorded and brought up against them. She was first reported in 2020 to NMC, but it was just recently this year that she was struck off the nmc register i'm going to let you guys know the things i have learned and then if there's anything that i forgot to mention as well state it in the description so that we we'll all advise ourselves okay see the first thing i have learned is that one if you don't have any nice comments to pass about anybody about a colleague or about a patient maybe a negative thought popped up in your head let it stay there let it stay there because if you let it come out of your mouth you don't know who's standing by and that can be used against you in future if somebody annoys you to the highest level and you really want to say something very negative just let it stay there it remains there wherever it was generated from let it stay there don't let it out yet maybe later you can report to the person but at that moment don't say anything yet because it can be used against you we should also be mindful of the words that we say i mean calling somebody kunta kinti i think she went overboard with that i think that was really bad and the second thing that i learned is that somebody has been prescribed pain medication she says she's in pain it takes nothing to administer the medication it takes nothing honestly she said she's been prescribed already let's say it's a PR medication she says she's in pain just give it can be used against you in future just give and then the third thing is don't mute buzzers and always make sure that you are maintaining the privacy and the dignity of the so apparently she was not even at the hearing the hearing is even done virtually so she could have just been in Belfast here and then you know just joined online but she was not there meanwhile the people that were providing evidences against there were present <laughs> so now we could not really hear what she had to say all right she gave them the go-ahead to proceed without her so now she was not there to defend herself at all so for somebody that has been a nurse since 1983 i think it's a really sad thing that she's losing her pain now and one major thing
thing that I learned is that some of these things, she did them in 2019. Some of these things, she did them in 2018. But she's reaping the repercussions now, guys. We have to be careful. Whatever we are doing now can be used against us at an NMC hearing in the future. And the funny thing is they are able to collate all these little, 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 little things that you have done and then, you know, ball them up to become something huge and use it against you. So guys, we really need to be careful. So those are the few lessons that I learned from this lady's story. Another lesson is if you are at work and there's a nurse or there's a colleague that's always passing negative racial derogatory remarks against you, probably because of your religion or your race or your whatever political affiliation, such a person should be reported because um, clearly the NMC frowns on it because for them to track somebody off, they didn't give her suspension, they didn't, they just track her off the NMC register like completely and they've given her 28 days to appeal. That means that the NMC really frowns upon racial discrimination. So guys, if you at a workplace and somebody is doing all these things to you this is another proof that you can report the person okay yeah so guys this is it i'm going to try to post at least two videos of this kind every month so that we will learn from it okay guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well so that whenever i upload the next episode of strack off you'll be notified that you can watch because there are several things that health professionals are doing in this uk that are landing them in trouble some i didn't even know where were wrong honestly that's why i'm doing this show to research more about these things and then you know inform me about it so that you're a bit more careful and then you can protect your pen let's protect our hard end pen i mean nursing school was not easy cbt and oski were not easy as well ielts was not easy let's protect our pen let's protect our license okay all right thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe i love you guys bye swear i won't forget this why do i regret this in my mind reckless thoughts are feeling